Today is the opportunity to start living your best life. You know, each day we get an opportunity to start over a new beginning, um, to do the things we say we're gonna do. Because each day when we don't do the things we say we're gonna do, we don't acquire what we admire as men, we, um, don't have an opportunity to live our best days, our best days, our best life, the opportunity. Those opportunities are there every day to really focus on true happiness, true happiness, to seek inner peace and inner happiness and to be the... Um, the strong witness to your thoughts, you know, and that's just a daily process. Each day, the process begins with getting up early, exercising, eating clean, getting some cardio in, some meditation. Um, for me, I like to do ice baths. I like to go for beach walks in the sand, um, you know, barefoot. Um, just really being grounded, being close to nature, and just reflecting on my character and my behavior each day, and just focus on conducting myself at a higher level, higher standard, you know, and, um, and, and, and taking care of yourself so you can take what you have and give it away to your people and your family and you can help others, you know. And, um, you know, I had a really good talk with my stepson yesterday and um, we haven't really talked a lot lately, but, um, you know, really just talking about what, what's been going on lately and where we're at and where's his head at and what he's doing. And, uh, you know, it just, it, it made me have so much gratitude and I was so grateful. Um, you know, just from looking at my darkest days and where I have been um, and where I am now and um, how I'm able to share my experiences and, um, you know, my journey with the people that I love so I can teach them and show them how to live their best life, you know. Men will never seek true happiness through external gifts, pleasures. You know, the more you suffer, the more you have baseline discipline, the more you go without your essential needs, less sleep, less food, less pleasurable things like being on social media or your phone or or watching TV or movies all the time and Netflix. I mean, it's crazy um, the time that we spend wasting on things, you know. And I thought a lot about that this morning. I was thinking about, you know, <clears throat> utilizing every moment and, um, you know, how, you know, my schedule's a little bit different on my days off from work and um, how I incorporate when I stay up later, am I really doing productive things? Am I really bettering myself? Am I bettering my family? Am I you know, doing the things I need to be doing? And um, you know, if you're wasting too much time out there on things that don't matter, and, you know, especially now in the age of where we're at, the world is a different place we live in a, a, a really different time now. And, you know, I see it. People bitching, complaining, stuck in that victim mentality, um, arguing with people on social media about their opinions, about matters that don't really matter. Um, you know, you have to focus on policing your family, helping those people. You know, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to save the world. You know, you can only save your people. And if more people do that, and then there's no need to, you know, tell everybody what to do or voice um, 
lot of it is negativity. It's not even, um, you know, it gets into where people are trying to help others by awakening their minds to what is really going on. And then it turns into an argument and people allow events to dictate their behaviors in a negative manner. And, you know, that's like, I like to unplug, you know, I like to, um, like today I'm going to go for a long walk, unplug, go to the beach, um, and just, um, not focused on, you know, just stuff that does not benefit my mind, my mindset, you know, so every day it's an opportunity to learn to be grateful have that emotion find it through your pain of the process I find it through working out early morning workouts in complete silence I can hear the birds chirping I can hear the water the river as I train as I push myself as I go through the reps and sweat the pain the suffering I find my answers I find it and I find out who I really am and then I sit with self and I reflect and I get to the state of consciousness where I'm in one with my conscience and I live the conscience congruent lifestyle my conscience does not lie to me ever because my conscience is at a level that there is no lies necessary. It is healthy. It tells me my answers. You know, and this helps me be a witness to my thoughts. I'm aware, like watching a movie, <clears throat> you know, I sit back in the back row, I'm watching my thoughts manifest and I am controlling my behaviors or how I react to certain situations, you know. It's not about being violent. It's not about being hateful. For years, I lived like that. Oh, I just hated everybody. And I just wanted to be so aggressive every day, every day. I wanted to look through people and just make them fearful and that's a fake way of living. Fake hardness. Stupid. I was so weak. So weak. You know, the journey has taken me now to realizing that it's all about what you can do and serve others. Be kind. Invest in yourself so you can be the best version of yourself and you can help so many other people, so many, because the energy you give off, the, the feeling you have is because you admire what you're doing each day. You know, as soon as that thought goes in my head that I need to do something, I do it. I do it now. I don't wait. I used to be such a procrastinator. I used to always say, oh, I'll just do it in an hour. Or I'll do this later. As soon as that thought comes in my mind, I'm like, uh, I need to do this. Boom. It's done. It's done. And then there's no anxiety, no worriedness, no, you know, second guessing myself. You know, because always that voice. If I don't work out, if I don't eat clean, I have those regrets. Those regrets. And instead of being, um, letting your uh, regrets make you feel depressed or, or you're beating yourself up with negative self-talk. You take those regrets as guidelines. They are gifts. They are hookups from God, from the universe to live a better life and live your best life. Regrets are that guideline. There's people that say, I, I don't regret anything. <laughs> it's such it's bullshit. It's so funny because you take those regrets and you learn from them. You learn from those regrets. You don't, you don't, you don't feel good. You don't live your best life when you're living regrets. When you have regrets, you're not doing the things you say you're going to do. You know, 
and we are our own worst enemies. I'm my own worst enemy. I can only speak for myself as a man. And um, I have to get out of my own way each day, each day, focus on all the purpose, purpose-driven lifestyle, focus on helping others and being the best version of myself, training, eating, and just getting up and doing the things I say I'm gonna do. And when, when I think they're hard, that's when I need to work harder. Embrace the hard times and just focus on bettering yourself each day through your daily process. Get after it today.